Hey, what's going on guys? It's Teak. And I know I promised you guys that I would make my YouTube tips video, and I will probably later tonight or tomorrow, but last night was pretty crazy, and I could not pass up a perfect opportunity for commentary. So my mom just left for a couple of minutes, so I'm going to try to make this commentary as short as I possibly can. So it was me, my friend, his sister, and a couple of her friends. We were going to go see Paranormal Activity 4. We had this crazy idea that we would get baked and go see it, you know, we would geek out. So that's what we did. We were feeling, pre feeling pretty good. We saw the movie. As for the actual movie, um, I don't really remember much of it, but it wasn't that scary. Like, I was kind of freaking out a couple times, you know, just because I was so messed up. But if I would have seen number three high, I would have, like, probably cried, honestly, because number three was way scarier than this one. Number four is not that good. I've heard Sinister is a lot better in Paranormal Activity 4, so I'm probably going to go see Sinister later. But, anyways, after the movie got over, the not-so-great ending of Paranormal Activity 4, we left and you know I was still feeling it we we're all kind of still feeling it and we we're going down this hill and the hills got some turns on it and shit and this uh, person was walking on the sidewalk to the right of our car and like we drive by him and my friend turns around he's like yo yell at them right as we're heading kind of for the woods and I'm like shit dude watch out so he turns around and he kind of turns but right as he turns he smokes the curb so he smokes the curb we go flying into the middle of the road and then he corrects it, we keep flying, we're fucking spinning around, skid marks, it's just loud as fuck, and there's four people in the back seat. So he ends up stopping, and luckily there was no traffic coming the other way, otherwise we probably would have been fucked, and there was nobody following us pretty close, so we would have been fucked there as well. So he stops in like the middle of the road, and like, I'm just like, dude, go, you gotta pull over somewhere. So he goes, we thought we had a flat tire because the whole fucking car was shaking, and we thought we were just totally fucked. So he goes... Pulls over into the street, and like we stop, we get out. I'm just like, fuck, dude, I just need some air. And then this car comes up, and like these people were behind us, so they saw the entire thing. So they're like, yo, you get, you guys all right? You guys good? And we're like, yeah, we're cool. So they just waited there until we left. So I kind of knew that we kind of had to get out of there, or they might call the cops later. So we're sitting there, and I'm checking out the tire, and I notice that it's not flat, so it must just be like the alignment got fucked up when he hit the curb. So. The scary part was there's four people in the back seat without their seatbelts on, and he didn't have his seatbelt on. I had my seatbelt on because I crashed my car, car earlier, like when I first got my license. A couple months after I got my license, I crashed my Honda Civic, rolled it a few times. If I hadn't had my seatbelt on, I probably would have died. So ever since then, I've been wearing my seatbelt all the time. If they would have died, I would probably had to explain to everybody how they fucking died, and uh, they probably would have blamed me. So I would have felt like an idiot. So, thank God that there was nobody coming from either way. Thank God that we didn't fucking roll it. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, guys, that's kind of my little story. I wanted to make this quick. Kind of just wanted to tell you guys. Hope you guys liked it. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll just see you guys later.